Hey guys and welcome to a new tutorial, this time on installing DisplayCal for your Datacolor Spider. Um, I was using the official Spider Pro software for a while now, but after doing some research and talking to a lot of people on uh, mostly Reddit photography, uh, almost all of them said that DisplayCal is a much more accurate uh, color calibration and basically that the spider software itself pretty much sucks so I'm using it now for I think a week and next to that the calibration process takes much longer um, the result I have the feeling that the result is more accurate like before I had a visible difference between my two screens um, I could see the colors were a little bit different um, now I calibrated both screens with uh, display cal and I can see no difference except the black levels because I have an IPS panel and a normal LCD panel next to each other. So there is a slight difference in blacks. But uh, anyway, I definitely recommend to install display cal instead of the spider software. And uh, the installation process is a bit longer and uh, takes a little bit of uh, tweaking. So I thought I'll guide you through it and let's get started. Before you continue, you can prepare two things. One is the Spider 5 software. You can choose whatever software you want. Um, you can either download it or just put the CD into your drive. Uh, I downloaded it because I don't have a CD drive anymore on my computer and uh, that's it. Uh, you need it because the display cal software needs to extract the driver for your spider device and the display cal software itself you find the pages over google if you finished your download we simply start display cal setup so real basic installation process here we click on next don't uh, wonder, I have my OS is in German, so, but it will be the same in English, I guess. Just click on next, next, uh, whatever you want to use. Um, we use Display Cal Profile la uh, Loader. Uh, this has a higher precision um, and is clicked by default, so we just stick with that and click on install. After that's done, we tick the box to start display call now and click on finish. Now display call tells you that it needs the Argyle CMS. That's basically the color management system that handles the driver from your spider. So you just click on download and keep the box ticked to check for updates on startup and click on download. If this window pops up, just allow Display Cal to communicate with your network or go out of your network uh, that you can, that it can automatically check for up, uh, updates. You can choose if you want to donate now or later. Keep that for later and tick the box to don't show the message again. I'm quickly going to change the language to make it easier for you. That looks much better. So the first thing we want to do is to install the driver of your spider device. If you already installed the normal spider software and got the spider driver installed previously, you need to uninstall the driver first. You also should make sure that you uninstalled the previous installed uh, software of spider so that it's completely removed from the system. To uninstall the driver of your spider device first of all make sure that it's unplugged at this moment so don't plug your spider in yet then just type in this field device manager or go to your device manager i don't have it installed here yet so it's not showing up for me but for you it will be under usb controller and there will be an entry called spider 3 or spider 4 or spider 5 or whatever you have uh, whatever device you got and you just hit the right mouse button and click uninstall. After that's done, 
Just quickly reboot your system to make sure everything is removed and we continue from here on. If you have a clean system now and completely remove the old spider software and the driver, you open Display Cal, click on Tools and click on Install Argil CMS Instrument Drivers. You click on Download Uninstall. After that is done, just plug your spider device into your USB port. Now go ahead and open your device manager again to make sure the installation was correct. And you should see the Argyle Win32 device driver. It recognized your spider. Now we need to import the color correction data from the spider software. So we go to tools again and click on import color emitter corrections from other display profiling software. And we hit Spider 4 or 5, in my case I have the Spider 5. Uh, if you have some other color emitter, you can just choose it from here. But I think with the Color Monkey and stuff like that, it automatically installs it anyway. Um, we choose Install for Current User. Click on Select File. Go to Downloads and we choose the spider setup.exe and it automatically imports it and it has successfully imported after quick restart of your spider software uh, of your display card software you should now see next to your display that it recognized your spider 5 device first you have to choose a mode according to your display so i didn't dig very deep into that uh, I just learned that most modern LCD screens have white LEDs, uh, which light up the screen. So I did a quick research on my uh, main computer on what kind of display it has. And I actually just Googled my display model and with the addition of white LED. And I found a, a data sheet where it was actually written that it's a white LED display. So if you have a relatively modern flat screen, the chances are very high that's a white LED. If you have no idea what kind of display you have, you just click on generic LCD display and you get a little less accurate calibration, but it shouldn't be that uh, dramatic. So I have a relatively new display, so I choose white LED. I'm configuring a laptop computer at this moment, by the way, and not a normal screen. Next, we head over to the calibration tab and we can change a few options here. So for white point, you can either measure it over your spider device, it will measure the, uh, the room light for you, or you can set it uh, manually. So the manual setup is kind of like if you work in a well-lit photographic environment where you have a standardized uh, roof light, and you can set it up according to that temperature. I have, for example, a Philips color proof lamp over my head. So I know exactly that my color temperature inside here is 5300 Kelvin. Um, you can adjust the white level as custom. So that's the brightness of your screen or leave it as measured. I do that because then the spider device will measure, measure my room light and adjust the the white level accordingly to that. Uh, tone curve, I always leave it as a gamma 2.2, that's the standard. You can also set it up uh, to sRGB, but uh, I don't go deeper into that. I just leave it on standard. And the calibration speed, we also leave on high. That's a fairly accurate calibration. And as I research on the internet, if you put it higher, uh, the, only, the only thing that changes uh, is a slight improvement in the calibration, but I think half an hour is more than enough and the calibration level is high enough for me. If you don't have standardized lightning in your room, you just leave it, you leave the Y point as measured and the device will do the measuring for you and adjust the white point according to your room lighting. Just make sure there is no direct sunlight hitting your screen or any other reflections uh, disturbing the calibration. Um, also make sure if you want to do this for photo editing that you have the actual light situation that you will have when you edit photos while you do the calibration. 
So let's go over to the profiling tab. Here you can choose the profile quality. We of course want to have a high quality profile. We can choose a test chart. I didn't play around with that. Amount of patches, I didn't read into that either. Um, one thing I recognized is that because I now calibrate a screen of my laptop, I don't have the option here, but on my external monitor I had the option profile type on, t on the top here. And uh, I could choose different profile types. And in the article that I read, where I set up uh, my screens, there was written that you should choose single curve plus matrix profile type. Because there are different programs using different kind of profiles. And it might happen that your color profile looks different on Lightroom and Photoshop because they use different profiles. And with the single curve and matrix profile, you are or the programs are able to use the exact same profile so you don't get confused if the colors look different on different programs. So definitely choose that or Google it again. Uh, I will put the name in the description again and you can do some research on yourself. So we leave the rest as it is. Now we set up our software and we are ready to actually do the calibration. Uh, note that your display should be running for about 30 minutes before you start the calibration so that it's warm enough or in, let's say, working condition. Let's click on Calibrate and Profile. You can adjust the size of this window. I think by just, yeah, click on plus and minus. Um, I just need to switch the screens now for my for my calibration because I am connected via remote desktop on the laptop to show you the tutorial. Um, what you do is you just probably know already the process from your spider software. So you put your spider device on here, just tilt the screen backwards a little bit to don't get any air or light between the spider device and your screen and then click on start measurement then you will be guided through a process. It's very easy to do. Uh, you are asked to adjust your RGB levels and your uh, brightness of your display and stuff like that. And just follow through this procedure. You should already know it from the Spider software. And yeah, then it takes, it takes between, I think, half an hour and hour at most for me. Um, but after that is finished, you can check your calibration, then it should all be installed properly and you are done with the setup of your new display cal software. Um, it's not as easy to use as the spider software, but it's far more reliable and you will see that the result is more accurate than, this, than the result from the spider software. So enjoy a newly calibrated screen and click a bit around in the options in your display cal software because there are really many things you can customize. Read a few other tutorials of what you can do. You can generate different profiles for different lightning situations and stuff like that. Um, special thanks go to Reddit Photography who convinced me to change to the software. And I'm actually really happy to make the change from the data color software to display cal. And you should do the same. Um, again, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. I also will put a link to my Patreon account into the description and I would be more than happy if you support me on this so I can produce more content for you. And as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.